Now, today we are going to chat about this beautiful piece from Leisure Society, affectionately known as Palisades or Palisades or whatever. Yeah, you guys know I butcher these names with my accent. This one, we're gonna talk about this one. It's a little bit different from some of the other acetate models and we'll get into why that is. Very cool detailing, but we'll get there, okay? Stick around. So first things first, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and stick around a while because we talk about incredible pieces of eyewear that are very exclusive, hard to obtain, and you might not get to see anything about them anywhere else. We also talk about lens technology, but more importantly, how to take care of and keep these fitted and looking nice. So stick around, go through the playlist, have some fun. Today, we're gonna focus on Pelisade, as I mentioned before absolutely gorgeous little frame and a lot is brought to the table with it. The reason for that is because it is one of their titanium and gold plated pieces. This one, the very elusive gunpowder colorway was new for this year, I believe, but this isn't your normal acetate frame. It is an insert and it's flared up, milled down and really nicely seated. A lot of times we see these acetate inserts done and they're very loose in the frame. I've seen it with Varnay, I've seen it with many other manufacturers over the years. Even Porsche Design has a few that there's a lot of wiggle room to their inserts. This is a real acetate insert in a titanium frame. I do believe this was titanium. I could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's titanium. It's really lightweight, nicely balanced, good feel to it. But at any rate, you have the incredible detailing that Leisure Society is known for all the way around the rim of the frame. Nice, I believe that is coining on this one, does not look to be on laser etching as we see on some of the higher end titanium pieces. What's cool with this one though, is it's not your normal frame from Leisure Society. It is well done, it is well thought out, of course, as they all are, but there's something very, very different going on here. Because of the inserts, the acetate inserts on this frame, if you're replacing the lenses and not getting just the sunglasses, then you get a very special lens. This is something they've kind of created. It is called their Starburst lens. You're not gonna see on camera what's going on here, unfortunately. I just cannot get it to show up very well. It is something that has to be appreciated in person. But you have this incredibly fine metallic finish in the lenses. So if you know how polarized lenses are made that is done with a laminate, you have basically two lenses sandwiching your polarized layer and that's where your polarization comes from. Well, in these, you have your two layers and inside of there, it's not a polarized layer. It is a layer of 24 karat flakes. <laughs> yeah. I said that, you heard it right. These guys are gonna run you about $800 because that lens is special made for this company. I don't know anywhere else you can get that lens. We can't even get it for custom prescription work as much as I would love to have cute little glittery, glitt glitt glittery lenses that are 24 karat across the board. Really, really cool stuff. I can't get it. <sighs> now that that rant's over with, Really cool, the gunpowder is gonna be your 18 karat gold finish around the rest of the frame. Good attention to detailing, maybe not as high end as some of the Leisure Society pieces because we are a mostly titanium frame with the gold detailing. It's not got the spring hinges, but you do have your little baked in enamel finish right here, which is always nice to see. This is not your paint fill that's gonna just wear off. Actually, you know what? I didn't ask specifically about that and I need to. I asked about it on the higher end frames where it is that baked enamel finish. On these, it could be just a paint infill. I don't really suspect so just because the amount of detailing that remains in there after it has been filled in. Generally, you're not gonna see that with a paint infill. It'll fill in some of those details will disappear. Not a huge fan of that, but it's worth mentioning. Now, as I mentioned, there was something else different about these, and it's not just the lens. So, 
for me, what's really cool with these, if you get tired of this look of this rim, you're a person that wears prescription or you do custom lenses anyways, well, you can have new lenses made and you can just drop the rim entirely. Hmm. Yeah, well, the acetate insert at least. You can go to just that very thin gold rim mount. In fact, they sell this frame with just the gold finish without the inserts. I think the inserts add a lot of flair. I like that look personally. I would stick with that because it adds something a little bit more special to it. And of course the lenses are incredibly special. Price points on these are gonna range similarly to some of the other acetate and titaniums, which is interesting, right? Because generally they're all titaniums are much more expensive. This one, you're gonna be in that six to eight, 850 range. I think 900 maybe, depending on the exact color and lens combination. Obviously, some of them cost more than others to produce, and they cost more than others to buy. That's all I've got on this big, large, square beauty, at least as far as my rantings and ravings go. Your overall sizing on these is going to be 53 eye size, 22 bridge, so nice and open on the face. I'm definitely gonna call it that larger family, especially with that insert, because we've got a little bit more full of a look to it. <sighs> Really nice and lightweight on the face. Just kind of a cool, clean look to it. Nothing super crazy or super extravagant, but she adds a little bit of oomph to it. Now, that is truly all I have on this frame today. Let me know your thoughts down below, what you think of little pale side here, and if it is one you would add to your collection, I would appreciate if you would grab it from my shop. Links will be in the comments and description, of course. I'll catch you guys next time.